Hello, my lovely people. I'm back again. I am here. I drop off my son in school. I dropped my son off in school and I am sitting right here in the parking lot while he's uh, taking his exam. I'm just making all my videos. Hey, listen. I'm j all you guys need is for me to put a content out. And wherever I am, eh, I will just put my content. That's all you guys want me to do. And I'm going to do my best. So if this is your first time, thank you for stopping by. If you're a return subscriber, mwah, I love you. So my people, hmm, when you finish watching this video, eh, if you don't like, give it a thumbs down. If you like what you're watching, give me a thumbs up. Now I'm seeing that more people are watching, but they, they are not giving me thumbs up. Why now? What did I do? Oh, Jesus. What did I do? What did I do? And if you are watching this video and you have not subscribed in my channel, you have not subscribed in this channel, this Ubonga one, <laughs> you are missing out. This is a person that tells you the truth in your face. The truth that the, the Mumu people will not tell you. But I will tell you. So you know what? This one, Abel, this is for you. Listen to me. This is for you, baby. Because this boy that I called his name here, uh, his mother showed him. His mother is my friend. So his mother showed him <laughs> my videos on YouTube. And uh, he he told his mother, no, nope, I don't believe it. I don't believe it's Miss Jen until she calls my name. If she calls my name, and then I will know it's her. So I bet this is for you, baby. So now I'm about to address parents that go to school trying to fight for their uh, for their children or when, or when a teacher call that your child did this or that or that. You're running over there say your teacher did this, the teacher did this, the teacher did that. You're going to run to fight for your children. Okay, let me tell you something. It's not everything that your children are doing that they're telling you or that you know. Yes, when you are raising a child, the children... You believe them uh, in what they're doing. But trust me, there are some things that they're doing outside that you do not have a clue. So what you do, how to handle that? Hey, they will say, all those people now that don't even subscribe to my channel will say, uh, who give this one uh, right to come and be talking about children? I have children too. I raised three beautiful boys. So I know what I'm talking about. So don't tell me what I know. I know. Check my children out and see if they turn out stupid. No, they did not turn out stupid because uh, somebody with sense raised them. Taught them the right thing. When your children are in school and they come back and they tell you, oh, this teacher did that, that teacher did that. My dear, don't just run there to fight. No, 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 wrong. Go to school and find out what's going on from the teacher. The teacher, remember, teacher don't know your child. The teacher do not know your child. The teacher is there to teach, not to start a... How did your teacher just pick on your, on your child and start a picking on your child? There's something your child is doing, and you have to go to school to find out from the teacher. Please help me. What is, this is your child, though. That's what I did. This is your child. Take this child as your child. Uh, you call your child in front of a, in front of the teacher and said, hey, listen, I'm telling you what I did. It worked. Call, I call my son. You call your son or your daughter. Say, hey, listen, the next time I have to leave my work to come here and talk about you talking nonsense or doing nonsense in, in the class that I know you don't do at home. That time you're going to have to answer to me. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Okay, now, apologize to the teacher. Apologize is not only apology. When you go home, you're going to write her apology letter. And you will come to school and you will read it. I will bring you, I will make sure you read it. You're going to give her apology letter. You might not even want to come and read it. But at least you will give her that apology letter. And then when she gets it, you will put my, I will put my number on top of that apology letter. When she gets it, she's going to call me and say, Madam, thank you so much. You got some sense. I said, I know. My father raised me right. Because in, in Africa, where we come from, if a teacher do anything to you, 
You don't go running home to go tell your parents to come and fight for you. Are you okay? There must be something they told you to do that you did not do. And that thing, you better do it. Because teachers, are, they are not evil people. Maybe a few, but not all of them. Most of them are there to teach. Most of them are there to teach your child. So make that teacher your friend. Make that teacher that this child, take this child as your child. Every time, give, give that teacher your number. Give that teacher your personal phone number. And said, if anything happens, it worked. It works like magic. If anything happens, call me direct. Guess what? If, if they try to do any rubbish, even the teacher will tell my son and say, go call your mother. And they don't want to call me. They don't want to call me. Because I'm coming to, to school for war. Not because I'm, I'm going to leave my job to come to school. And you think I'm coming to pay to you. I'm not coming to pay to you. You're going to cry in school for making me leave my job to come here. So my, my parents, my people, especially mothers, please don't go to school and start fighting teachers that are there to teach your child. No, they're not evil people. Let me tell you what I did with one of my sons, my second son. I know he sees this. He will know that I'm talking about him. So he know, and he is still like that till today. Every time they will call me, every time they will call me, I say, Lord have mercy. So during teachers, uh, what I went there, and uh, as soon as the principal saw me, the principal said, "Are you the mother?" I say, "Yes, yeah, so I'm the mother." He said, "Hey, if you see." But I wasn't scared because I know I didn't have a bad son. So whatever it is, might be talking, talking because he talks at home. So the principal said, I'm going to bring, um, I'm going to bring all his teachers. I say, hey, all his teachers. What did he do now that all the teachers are? But I kept my cool, you know, now I'm a cool, a cool lady. All the teachers, about six of them, when he was in middle school. They all stayed in the whole class saying the same thing. What are they saying? That he's talk, talk, that he jokes a lot. That he's always cracking a joke. So, and once he, once he throw that comedy joke in the class, the whole class will bust out laughing and laughing and laughing until the class is over. And they have a limited time to teach that particular subject. And they, the teachers say, say they will end up not teaching anything because this boy is busy being a comedian in the class. He will be a good comedian. Sometimes we can use some laugh, but not in the class when we are teaching. All of them said the same thing. I say, oh, I agree with you guys. Thank you so much for calling me. Because he does the same thing at home. He's a very, very good boy. He jokes a lot. Yeah, so I said, but uh, nah. Yeah, he said, yes, mom. Next time he was angry, he thought I was about to kill him. But no, he didn't do anything wrong. I said, nah, please apologize and say you won't do it again. You won't do it again. You hold your mouth when you come home. You do all your talking, not in the class. He said to them, I apologize. I won't do it again. And he never did. He didn't do it again until he graduated from that school, went to high school, graduated. Nobody called me again. Make the teachers your friends. Don't make them the enemy. Don't make them enemy. If this is in Africa or if this is Nigeria where I come from, you make a teacher your enemy. You no go past that class. I don't care what you write. You can write from, you can write anything, you know, no matter how smart you are. They will not pass that class. They say, eh. now your mama come here to make trouble. Okay, make your mama come. Okay, let's see now. You, you know what I'm saying that is right. So just make your, your children, teach them the right thing. Teach them when somebody is touching them the right way or the wrong way. Nobody should touch a child when they're in school. Like touch, like, you know what I mean by touching. So you teach them when somebody is trying to do something stupid and you tell them, this is a secret word, you tell them when somebody doing something right, they will not tell you not to tell anybody. They want the whole world to see it. When, some, when a teacher is doing something or whoever is doing anything and they tell you, um, don't tell it's our secret. Don't tell it's our secret. Don't tell your parents. Don't tell anybody it's our secret. You know that person is doing the right thing. When you come home, tell mom. You say, but mom, when I tell you, I'm going to get in trouble. So, you know my question. When they be, when they're in jail, are they going to hurt you? No, they, because I'm going to make sure they will not do that to you again. So, make your children open up and tell you what is going on in school. 
don't be fighting the teachers and ignoring the important things that you're supposed to be looking out for one day one of my sons ah this video is 10 minutes already jesus my one of my little sons came back when i think he was in second grade and he came back and he said um uh, uh mom uh, somebody somebody a student told me that he was gonna kill me <gasps> what what do you think i'm going to do i ran there with my madness i ran over there to, to i ran there with everything i have i said Went to the principal. I said, they said, they know I don't come to school to make trouble. But this time that I'm here, they, somebody better pay attention. So I called the principal. The principal went to his, her office and told her what my son told me. And she was like, oh, your son is such a good son. Uh, such a good boy. He minds his business. He does his work. Uh, he even, uh, 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 I don't know who would tell him something like that. So I called the name of the girl that, that said that to him. So, uh, they, I said, I need you guys to call the girl to be here. They said, no, that's not how it's worked. I said, okay, call the parents, make a arrangement so two of us can be here and talk about it. Uh, they said, okay, they're going to investigate, then they will let me know. I said, okay, fine, fine, please, I would like to know. So, they did their investigation. They called the girl. They found out that the girl is a joker, all kinds of joke. But there are some things that you don't joke with. That's why you have to teach your children, no matter what comes out of whoever's mouth, they need to let you know so that you can step and follow up with that thing that they said to you that happened in school. And you don't go to the class. You don't follow the little child uh, to, to do it. You go to the principal's office. You tell them the principal, they will do all the things that they're supposed to do. Um, for us that live in abroad, over there, I don't know. I'm not going to talk about anything about over there. Because if I start telling you what happened to me in, over there, you, you will not, this video will be, I, I will give another video about that. So, <clears throat> I'm telling you, so my dear, my people, my lovely, lovely parents, please pay attention in what your children, uh, what they are doing when they are not in your house. And when a teacher calls you, don't take it personal. Do not take it personal. You, teacher has no reason to hate your child so find out what that thing is and make that teacher your friend eh? give your number your child will stop that rubbish that they're doing they're not stupid it's because every time they they do something stupid the teacher calls you then you run there like a mad woman and start talking that's why they are continuing to do what they're doing go go over there go to school make the teacher your friend and their teacher will love you eh it will love you. They will know you're training your child well. But when you are there to fight the teacher, I know some teachers are bad. Some will do some little, little things. But no teacher came to school. No, a, a teacher will not come to school just to hate on your, on your uh, child for no reason. I don't know. Unless the person is crazy. Unless the person is, is mad. So my lovely people, please pay attention in the things that matters and Forget about things that don't matter. Don't let your children put you into them not learning anything in school. They're there to learn. And when you make those teachers your friend, your child will learn, learn, and concentrate, and even do more work and give to the teacher. Anna, please, 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 cut it out. Stop going to school to fight for something stupid and not paying attention to things that matter. And as you do that, God bless you. Bye-bye.